Good morning, guys. It is a balmy 24 degrees? 28. 28 degrees here in uh, Washington. But this is my mom. You've seen her before. Just glimpses. And she has a new car. This is a 2023 Kia Soul, and I actually really like it. Now, uh, what's her name? Sylvia. Sylvia the Soul, the Kia Soul. One thing that I think that Kia did uh, very poorly is getting rid of the hamsters. Like, I feel like the hamster is the identity of this car, but you got a pretty good deal. What was it 20, 21.5? 21 21 There's a whole story behind that, uh, but let me show you this car. I think they've come a long way, and it does look a little, uh, a little aggressive. You got a big old, big old grill down here. Look at these headlights. Oh, she's fancy. Got some nice hubcaps. And look, my mom really classed it up with a pair of hamsters in the front. You know, it's just keeping it, keeping it real. And we'll talk about the tech package, but like, for twenty, you know, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two thousand bucks, really not bad at all. Really pretty spacious, decently spacious. Yeah, you know, I'm a 5'11", you know, 6'1", with my Crocs. I fit in here just fine. It's kind of cozy. You wouldn't think that something this small would have uh, would have as much room. But, you know, we've got a car seat in here. It'll hold plenty of adults. More than I want coming with me. A real decent trunk because the, the trunk kind of comes down here. you got storage underneath there as well with a little net deal. And you have the storage above, so you can put some taller things in here. For as small of a car as this is, it's actually pretty decent. Got to say, I like the I like the tail lights, and you got a rear wiper, and of course you're gonna have backup cameras, all that good stuff. The profile of this guy, I mean, you could probably park five of them in the same spot. And then if you compare it to uh, Bailey, yeah, yeah, lots of room here. But I don't know, this is a pretty decent car. I gotta say, and. You've never had a new car before. No. You like it? Yep. Worth it. The nice part about it is it does have a 10 year, 100,000 mile warranty. The magic happens inside. And I'll show you it and then we'll take it for a test drive. It's, it's pretty decent. We're in here, believe it or not though, like genuinely there is a good amount of space and you can move the seat back even more than we've got here. So I noticed like the door frames were kind of a little bit lower, but there's actually some headroom in here, which is kind of nice. Even in the back, I fit in the back, believe it or not. This is the, the like the entry level. I think it's like called the EX model, but for being entry level, it's actually pretty nice. They give you a key that does have some, uh, you got some unlock lock and uh, horn buttons. And for not having remote start or anything like that, or just push button start, it's got a pretty cool key for it. Uh, I gotta say, it's actually pretty neat. It's got a whole system check, uh, all sorts of options. Like they packed tech into this thing, even though it, it's, you know, pretty entry level relatively. So this is <laughs> a lot nicer than they used to be, I gotta say. Uh, so you can actually customize just about everything, including the colors in here, everything from do the lights uh, delay to turn off in the front, Do the does the door automatically unlock or lock depending on whether you put it in a drive or a park or you take the key out or, you know, whatnot. You have a nice little chime, which uh, let's play that back. Which is kind of fun, I don't know. I think it's pretty neat. It of course does have CarPlay and this is actually a pretty good size for the car. Like it's a pretty good size unit. They used to have really crummy little radios. The most interesting thing to me is the fact that this actually has lane assist and it has driver assist features. Like for example, you're coming up, you've got cruise control on, somebody gets in front of you, it'll actually maintain a distance until they move out of your way or you move out of the way. It has all of those cool features in here, which I think is pretty, pretty nice considering again like 21 22 grand i don't know i think it's i think it's pretty great you've got a little bit of little bit of storage and my mom's uh my mom used to have our minivan and uh that had some engine issues uh so she's you know she's got a warranty now which is really nice and honestly considering the cost of some of these used models you're not paying much more to get something with a warranty but i gotta say for something as uh, you know compact as this Really not too bad at all. Now the fun part is of course, there's something called Kia Boys and they do the same thing with Hyundai where uh, for the, uh, the models prior to this model year, they can come in, they use a USB drive and they pop something and they can basically start the car with just a, a USB key. Off they go joyriding. This does not have that problem, but you know, some of these guys are not 
yeah, incredibly intelligent. So she does have one of those clubs that she puts across the steering wheel. <laughs> what a stupid issue. Here in Seattle, as a matter of fact, the city of Seattle is actually suing Kia Hyundai for, for this issue, which is what a, what a crazy world. Uh, but yeah, I gotta say, I think I want to take it out for a test drive. Let's go. I hope you can see this. Let's, uh, oh, she's smooth. You know, a little tiny engine in there. You get what, 23, yep, ice possible, drive with care. Thank you, Kia. Let's, uh, let's do some adjusting. Oh, I don't even need to adjust your mirrors. Ooh, how are you guys feeling in here? Very comfortable, very comfortable ride. <laughs> Oh, she's got a little pep in her step. Ooh. Where you hit sport mode. It's got a sport. All right, yeah. Oh. Oh, she's. Oh, she's peppy. Oh, and it has electronic steering. Oh, that's. It's a weird feeling coming, especially coming from a <laughs> motorhome. <laughs> oh boy. All right. So we've got driver assist. It's the first time when I, when I went to go pick up. It's peppy. So it'll keep you in your lane. Oh, oh, there it goes. Oh, let's see. Keep your hands on the steering wheel. So if we kind of drift over here. Oh, yeah, it's doing. <laughs> and over here. Uh, no, I, I corrected that one. Oh, my bad. Oh, weird. It's giving micro adjustments in the steering wheel. <laughs> I've driven cars like this. It's been a minute. It has been a minute. This is nice for 20, 22 grand, give or take. Jeez, this is a lot of car. Oh, this is nice. I'm sure someone in the comments is gonna be like, keep your hands on the steering wheel. You shut up. <laughs> so we have two drive modes, normal or sport. And uh, oh yeah, she gets away from you. Oh yeah, that's a lot of speed you don't feel like you're doing 70 something miles an hour in this thing <laughs> you can whoa i love that the dash lights up red i don't know if this is going to pick up on the gopro but it lights up red and if we go back now it's purple again oh that's elegant i like the car play too that's nice and it has a speaker here facing you it's got one up here and then facing you again and then two in the back of course it's like a go it's a weird it's like a go-kart and the interesting thing is you, you just the, the hood feels so big in this thing oh man but i bet you people because we're down pretty low oh and the engine shuts off the auto stop start i kind of like that and as soon as you let off the the brake pedal engine comes back on that's nice oh that's nice but i bet you people want to race you in this bad boy it can't be slower than a hamster car, can they? Oh, this is like a go-kart, guys. <laughs> the steering input is fast. Oh, this is nice. You're lucky. Wow, nice car. My mom's uh, nice air fresheners there. But I really feel like it's the hamsters that bring the, you know, that make it happen. Wow, this is... This is nifty. That's the word I would use. Nifty. Even with my little lead footedness, 26.5 miles per gallon. That's a. Uh... Oh, she's got so much pep in her step. You want to practice your left turn into the Starbucks up here? That's fun. <laughs> All right, let's check her turn radius though in this parking lot. Okay, hold on. Let's see. How how many U turns can we do? Her, her, uh, let's go right over here. All right. Oh, look, a, a friend. A, an older sister, probably. Look at her. Oh, look at this turn radius, guys. All right. Can we do a U turn? Oh, wow. It's marvelous. <laughs> wow. Now a figure eight. Nah. The guy in the car is. <laughs> Like, what the hell are you doing? <laughs> oh, 
brethren. <laughs> that is nice. Oh, guys. Would recommend. Where are you going? Can you flat tow this bad boy to Starbucks? This is the exit only. We were already in there. I go in there. <laughs> of course you do. <laughs> Starbucks is closed. Nice backup camera here. Gotta say. It does have hill assist. So if you're on a hill and you let off the brake pedal, uh, it's gonna hold you, which is kind of nice. But I like that, unlike a little button that it has to actuate a motor in order to press your e brake, it's just a simple e brake. That might seem kind of stupid, but I care about these things. That's kind of nice. This is a nice freaking package. Man, guys, got the, that dragon drink. I gotta say, this thing is a peppy little son of a gun. Now, I don't know if you guys have seen the Kia Soul campers. Uh, but I mean, you can, there's a, there's a few folks that have put a bed right here. You've got drawers and dressers and all that good stuff back there, or you just push the seat forward so you can still have passengers. Pretty good guys. I'm telling you, I don't think that they can be flat towed because of the transmission. It can't be put in a neutral, um, or the differential can't be put in a neutral, but I mean, you could trailer tow it. <laughs> I know a lot of folks like the, the tow vehicles. We don't have one, but this is this is pretty tempting. We don't stay anywhere long enough to, to need a second car. See, I love, the car just goes off. I like that. Quiet hamsters. The hamsters get a rest when you're at a stoplight. And here's something interesting as well. So when the car in front of us takes off, it's actually gonna detect that and give us a notification. Yeah, I used to think these were some of the ugliest cars, but now I, don't, I think they've, they've gotten them pretty well tuned that, you know, especially at the value proposition. I don't know, guys, pretty nice. Just leaving Hobby Lobby. We did find a few bits of uh, wall art that we'll have to show you later. Uh, did save you from our adventure video, so <laughs> you're welcome. We uh, we did find a little pizzazz, but now it's time to go to Emma's and my favorite little hamburger joint right out in Auburn, Washington, called Frugal's. Oh man, I I got it. It's so it's like a it's like a little go kart. Oh, this is fun, man. Ooh, look at that little trailer. I believe that's a Soul, or is that a Rover? Is that a Rover? Soul Rover. Oh, that's cool. <laughs> Big, beautiful window in the front. Really cool little trailer. Oh, fun. And Frugal's is right up the street here. Frugal's. Ooh, boy. Frugal's. <laughs> Thank you. Hey there, can we get one? Oh, where is it? No, one number five with ketchup, pickles. Onion with a slice for 3817. Thank you. All right. Oh, let's see if I can get in close here. Frugals, guys. Oh, I love frugals. Let's. <laughs> so I guess we'll hang out here all the trash. <laughs> the environment here, not so great, but the food. There's a Great. Right there. oh, there's the birds in the sky. Yeah. All right. Let's. Uh, what do we got? Ooh. Joel. Flies. Flies. Guys. So good. So good. Bite it. How is it? Taste it. Taste it. Wait. <laughs> no. Taste it. There we go. How's it? Wow, how is that lettuce? Fit for a rabbit. <laughs> <laughs> what? You gotta give me your feedback. <laughs> I don't know. The viewers need to know. Is it is it delicious? <laughs> mm. Guys, it is so good. Frugals here in Auburn. Oh man. Is it good? It is good. It doesn't seem like it would be as good as it actually is, but it's, I don't know what this, the special ingredient is. I think it's love. <laughs> Anyways, guys, thanks for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed this uh, Kia Soul tour and a little review with some driving and a stop to Frugal's where we can ruin the interior of this brand new car. <laughs> See you guys in the next video.
Bye. Bye.